Hi again, everybody. I'm Smart Ed. It's time for another Smart Ed TV top tip, and we have one of our field training specialists with us. Smart Certified Colleen Lennon is here, and you've got a uh, feature in the math tools to tell us about for all the math teachers, I right? I do. All right, Smart we're going to slide the uh, the we're going to desktop over there. The slide up there and uh, go right ahead. This uh, math tools here is a additional feature you can add onto the notebook software. And from talking to teachers, one of their favorite math tools is the shape division feature. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a new page by pressing the green plus sign. And I'm going to add a shape to my workspace. So I'm going to pick the circle here. I'm going to draw a circle on my workspace. And I'm going to make sure I go back to my select tool. And I'm going to select the circle till I get the blue marquee box. Then you'll notice you have a drop down menu. When you have the math tools installed, your drop down menu is going to look a little bit different than it might without the math tools. So in there you have shape division. So when I click shape division, I can choose the number of pieces I want my shape divided into. So for this case, let's say we're working on thirds. I'm going to choose three equal pieces and click OK. And what you'll notice here now is my circle has been divided into three equal pieces which then become separate objects to be moved around the work area. So this is a good feature if we're working on fractions or things like that. You got it, Smart All Ed. Right. Well, let's, uh, let's uh, switch uh, uh, the uh, images here and uh, show me this one more time. Okay, sure. I'm going to add a new page again here. So I'm going to press the green plus sign to add a new page. And this time I'm going to choose a shape that has color into it. And I'm going to choose a square this time. So I'm going to select the square there. And I'm going to drag until I get the size of square I want. And then go back to my select tool, select my shape so I have the blue marquee box in the drop down menu. Select the drop down menu down to shape division. And this time we're going to pick four equal pieces. So I'm going to pick four equal pieces there. When I click OK, you'll notice that my shape has now been divided into four equal pieces, which are separate objects on our work area. Wow. Nice job, Smart Ed. Yeah, well, you know, I picked up a thing or two as I've done these. All right, so that's the uh, shape division feature in that's the right. math tools. You got it. Pretty slick. All right. Yeah. Well, hey, thank you very much You're for very that. You're very welcome. All right. Well, that's today's top tip. I'm Smart Ed, and we'll see you again soon here on Smart Ed TV.